So I just got in from Umbrella Entertainment, my Mario Brothers 30th Anniversary Super Extreme Special Edition Blu-ray 4K set. And first and foremost, I just wanted to go through my variations that I've built up coming up that with Super Mario Brothers, the 1993 VHS in ultra classic form. I had that one, rented it so many times back in the day, such a big deal. I mean, Mario Brothers is one of those movies that I like probably more than almost most people in the world. I mean, it's in my top 10, no joke. I've done more podcasts on it with my buddy Ryan Dunn again than anybody else around. Really dig that movie. But then there's the classic DVD one that I did live off of for quite some time. Now, it's not really the greatest one. Like, it's not formatted for uh, widescreen TVs and so on. So it was fine and dandy for the CRT TVs. But uh, once that time period seemed to pass, it definitely uh, saw its age. But then what I've been living off of for a while is in Spain, do you ever find those movies that they just generally don't release very often in the U.S. or anything like that? For some reason, Spain will have them, you know, and for the most part, they'll be in English, you know. It's not like you're getting it as like the Spanish version or something like that. No, 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 it's the full-on deal. It might just have a couple of other extra things going on for it, but just like Super Mario Brothers here, this was the only way to get the Blu-ray version of it. There was that Super Special Edition version in um, England, but of course, that's a PAL version, so that wouldn't work for me. The Spanish ones will at least work for sure in the U.S., I had the same thing of True Lies, too, before that finally is uh, coming out on Blu-ray after so many years. But let's pack these bad boys up, and we'll jump on in to the box. Here it comes in glorious form, straight from down under. We got a big old set. And, you know, it's this one of those ones that I just ordered it, and I was just like, I just want it all. Give me, the, give me every special edition, special feature, whatever it comes with. I almost didn't even check. I was like, I, I don't care. I just want it. This is a movie I like so much. I'll go out of my way for it. And let me just struggle with the tape here. Here we go. Let's just see what's in this box. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I had to order uh, the Ninja Turtles collection on a Super Blue Blu-ray version because this was the only way to get the free shipping as I needed to get something else. So I totally forgot I got that one. But uh, it doesn't hurt to have Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray. But then here we go. Here it is. Look at that. Look at that artwork right there. Isn't that awesome? Badass right there. Pull this big old box. That I guess we don't need this box anymore. We'll set you over here. Boom. Look at that. Big old glorious form. Comes with a booklet and all kinds of behind the scenes stuff. Special features galore here. Brand new 4K restoration from the original negatives going to probably have all kinds of bonus features and so on it would be kind of awesome i know it probably doesn't going to have this but um there was that special edition version from the super mario brothers archive but it was somebody else i can't remember his name right off the top of my head but he put together a version of mario brothers where it added in an extra like 30 minutes of just every deleted scene and random vhs footage and so on just to give sort of this weird extended cut this really only cool if you're like hardcore in to mario brothers 1993 but uh, i love that thing and i made sure i downloaded that the second that that appeared online because that totally got taken down right away so i still pop that one on from time to time because that is just such a cool way to watch it but here we go let's take a look at this let's see what we got here we'll start from the top so boom here here's the 4k right here set i'm believing Trust the Fungus, Super Mario Brothers archives represent. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that gloriousness right there. Classic Super Mario Brothers. It's got a poster in there, too. Oh, God, this would take me back so much. You know, if I would have had the, this poster back in the day, it would have been on my wall forever. Oh, and it's got the European version, too. That's sweet. There's the American version right there. This ain't no game. Summer 1993. Where you know where you were. I still think 1993 is probably uh, one of the pinnacle years of movies, in my opinion. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, it's got the Japanese poster in there, too. It could go along well with my Roadhouse one I got. Oh, that's totally cool. You just don't get artwork like that anymore. That's not the Japanese one. That one's like Indian or something like that. 
This one, though, I know for a fact is a Japanese one. Because I've looked at trying to get this laser disc, because that's the only version I feel like I'm missing, is I just don't got the laser disc going, which is kind of a bummer. But, um, and it's, gosh, it keeps going up more and more every single time. So that's going to be the hard one to collect. But we got the discs in here. We got the Blu ray. This must be the special features, I'm guessing, right here for the second one here. Of course, the 4K. Boom, boom, boom. God, I can't wait to watch that in 4K. That's going to be sweet. Okay. Tuck you away over here. Let's see. And then this is this is a cool part right here. I knew it was coming with a book, but it's got a bunch of the scripts all through here in glorious writing form. And on Old Man Orange Podcast, we have gone through a handful of these scripts, or two of them tactically to be totally accurate but uh they're actually quite amazing reads if you do ever get the chance or if you want to just listen to the old man orange podcast on uh the mario bros movie scripts and we go through the whole thing and have a good old time with it so i'm actually kind of glad to have this in a total physical form to me that's a that's almost super amazing and then what else we got we got we got another booklet here so this one's i think got all kinds of cool special features almost kind of gives like the comp book feel or it's like almost in back in the day in the 90s, I remember you would get right when you were at the checkout stand at the grocery store. Sometimes they'd make these little miniature booklets and kind of like, you know, here's the behind the scenes of the movie. God, this feels just like one of those ones, too. Triple play in there. Oh, she's got the, it's got actual ads from back in the day, too. Oh, my gosh. T2, Alien 3. Love both those games. Alien 3 so hard. But I put a lot of time into that. It's almost got little comic book sections in here. Dude, this, this is something special. But yeah, as I said, I had one of these like Jurassic Park ones, I remember. I had a, a couple, I think I had a GoldenEye one as well, too, where they were just cool behind-the-scenes stuff. And, you know, one of those things that you just don't get as much anymore. I mean, you'll still see them from time to time on a certain special movie, but it felt like they were definitely much more common. Looks like it's got some interviews behind the scenes. You've got some monster stuff in here. All kinds of little makeup kits and so on. You get Jetsons and the Flintstone game. So, yeah, you're getting the ultimate 90s nostalgic feel right here. Oh, I got some of these trading cards, actually. The old Skybox one. They've got a couple of them sealed. But, yeah, there's that. Okay, so what we got here? We got... Are these stickers? Collectible series caps. So they're almost like pogs, but obviously they're just like cutouts. But those are still kind of kind of hip, kind of cool. If they're straight up pogs, that would be that would be almost even something something more exciting. Oh, there's a couple another set of them. Stack that over there. You get a little mini film cell right here. From this angle, I've got oh, I think it's a gosh, I think if I look up. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool shot. That is literally the scene where uh Mario and Luigi are pretty much standing up at the police headquarters and getting their picture taken for the mug shots. That, if there was a frame to have, that's a frame to have. Let's see, set that over there. Oh gosh, what's this thing right here? See, this is kind of the fun part of like not really doing a ton of research on what you're getting, just being like, just give it to me and I'll be excited and surprised when I finally get it. Oh, I want to do this without ripping this. God forbid I rip the little white paper here. Okay, and I want to show you who's boss. Just want to see what this booklet is. Okay, this is taking a. I guess I guess we're gonna have to. Maybe the papers. That's it. We're going for the paper. That's it. Oh, we'll figure out where to put those back together. That's okay. This is all for me, anyways. Oh, cool. So we get some screenshots right here from the movie. All oh, classic moments. Let's see what we got there. Oh yeah, there we go. Trust that fungus. There we go. Old Dennis Hopper. Him in his most glorious role. He did a topper in the 90s. Come on. Daisy and Yoshi right there. We go downtown right there. Look at that stuff. That's cool. All kinds of sweet pictures right here. Boom. That's awesome. Put that in there. Okay, how many more? Ooh. And then, like, to top it off. But wait, there's more. And look, you get this ginormous book. Special features galore, pre-production, getting all the artwork, the build-up to the movie. Got some piranha plants in here, some thwomps, 
just different designs that they had to see in some of this stuff. I mean, I've seen a lot of this stuff. The Super Mario Brothers archive.com, um, or I think it's .org actually, but, um, that place there has so much of the behind the scenes. I mean, they got the scripts. We talked to them before on the podcast, and I know that they had a big old hand in putting this all together to put out this super special edition. But man, look at there. There's just so much cool stuff in here. I mean, this is like the perfect little miniature coffee table look. Oh, God, and that police car right there with the super scope. I always think that's so badass. Always wanted to have like a toy that. You get some concept art and so on. Because some of the interesting things, too, is in the original variations of the script, it's actually kind of amazing how accurate it is sort of to Mario Brothers, especially for the fact that, you know, I always just kind of picture it, you know, those are probably guys in, like, their 40s writing it, so they probably don't have that care in the world for video games. I'm not saying they might not enjoy them or something like that, but it's, it's not their jam. They didn't grow up with it. So the fact that they put in so many of these extra details is pretty awesome. And then just seeing this one here is, I like the, per, or personally, I like that combination of like, hey, it's Mario Brothers in live action, and we're going to give it sort of this Mad Max, Tank Girl vibe, Judge Dredd, like cyberpunk. I, th I always thought that was cool, you know, and, and maybe just like in the 90s, it's just like, there was no real comparison. So, you know, you were just so happy with what you have. But I think it is still, at the end of the day, one of the most legitimate movies and I think it's, I mean, it's one of those ones, either you get it or you don't get it. But to me, it's just, that's such a special moment in time. And I can throw that movie on, you know, every year and enjoy it just like I've always have. Oh, here we got some cool storyboards and so on. Now this book it will technically go on for days. So, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Start getting into the pre-production. I mean, this book is almost a video in itself on how many different things you can kind of go through and take a gander at. We're starting to get more wordy here and less picturey. But we're still getting some kind of Goomba makeup, some tests, some Yoshi. Here's some just cars, all kinds of destruction. Getting the police officer sets. Oh, that's kind of cool. Here's a Koopa comes through and a clutch kind of newspaper stuff, Koopa Times. But yeah, there's just, you know, some of the guys on the set right there. Ooh, look at here we go. Oh, there was a there was a Slurpee tie-in. Why do I not remember this? And collector's cup. God, that's like two of my favorite things. Is a sweet collector's cup, you know, especially a movie tie-in, fast food ties in. You know, 7-Eleven tie-ins are like always my special one because I actually have a 7-Eleven right next to me. So, man, I I almost got to check one of those down because uh, that would be sweet for the collection. I've, yeah, God, I'm so bummed I don't have one of those. I'm surprised. But then again, sometimes when you're a kid, you you just can't freely go out and just, you know, get anything you want, you know. You, you're, you're all at the, you know, the limit of, like, whatever your parents have decided. You know, it's not like you got a job. It's not like, you know, you went out to the coal mines and, you know, got your labor in for the day, and now you're going to go buy your Slurpee cup of uh, Super Mario Brothers. We got some premieres. Look at this Shigeru Miyamoto right there. He's got kind of a confused look on his face. Like, he doesn't know where he's supposed to be at. Promotional materials. Daisy right there. Man, all this stuff would have been sweet to see back in the day. There's the action figures. I do have my action figures sitting right here, too. I always got them with me. Boom, there's my Mario one right there. Always looking down. Every time I'm working on the computer or anything like that. Got my Luigi one right here. What I really do is I just need to get the rest of the collection. Gotta get the Dennis Hopper one and everything like that. And then the Eki and Spike one. Here they are all right here. Oh, and then there's the Goomba one, too. And then there's the really large ones, which are actually kind of sweet to have, too. And there, at one point in time, I do have Luigi in the package still. I also have another variation there. At one point, these things were actually not too expensive, but like everything, price just keeps going up. If we ever want our collectibles to come back down in, in value, um, well, at least for the buyer's part, not for the guy selling it, but uh, is we need a recession recessions make collecting cheap and easy and fun just as long as you have the money oh there's all the trading cards right there that's awesome oh, there's some pogs and everything like that backstage passes and birthday pack God, there's, there are so many sweet tie-ins and this is the thing i remember is you would find stuff like this like later in life and you would go why did i never run across this it was not as easy just to find cool stuff as it once was 
Here's Super Mario Bros. Cut footage. Oh, I think this is it right here. This is the Super Mario Brothers, uh, I think, that extended cut one. And it's talking about the Restoration Revival special features. Oh, that's awesome. I, I want to say I'm pretty sure that might be the one to lead scenes re restoration. Okay, well, they might be on the disc, then. That actually would be totally awesome. I'm super ecstatic if that's on there. Oh, good old Mojo Nixon interview. Gosh, he just passed away not too long ago. Such a bummer. Toad. So we got some cool interviews to end it all at. Yeah, th this will be a one of those ones you have to just sit through and deep dive in it and everything like that. But man, this is just all around badass right there. I can't wait. I mean, this will be like, you know, a couple week process of going through everything, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And as I said, Mario Brothers, one of my all time favorite movies. I mean, I'm saying top five favorite movies of all time realistically you know i love it that much so I, of course i would have to have the extreme set the one from umbrella entertainment they got all kinds of cool stuff down there you know i get the emails coming in and it's just amazing how many sweet sets they make and keeping that kind of physical media alive because it's there's not that much time left on it so you've got to enjoy this stuff as much as possible and really really just hone in on it and get what you can and get the ones you really love and get that great experience because as i said it's just not going to be around you know there's only so much time left but there we go the super mario brothers super special edition 4k set you know it's something that's you know i think a must watch for any mario brothers fan